that will make the biggest difference between you being good or bad at Mario Kart is memorizing the track layouts. There are a lot of tracks, but each track is distinct and not that complicated. So if you just play this game regularly for a few months, I guarantee you will remember how every track goes. But if you have not memorized the tracks, your main focus should be playing on all the tracks as much as you can. This way you know exactly when to start your drift on each turn, you'll be able to take shortcuts confidently to make a comeback, and you can focus on items, other racers, and strategy, since you're no longer trying to figure out where to go. I consider myself a pretty good player, but every time a new DLC course pass comes out and I play it online, I feel like I turn into a completely average player. That is, until I start to feel confident on every portion of the track. Knowing the tracks well is crucial. This is why I don't recommend playing online right away, because the players there are much better than the bots, and losing does not feel good. Once you're pretty consistent at winning in Grand Prix mode, then you'll know you're ready for online play. Now let's talk about items. Item boxes are laid around the track in groups called item sets, and most tracks will have three item sets per lap. Items are extremely important when racing, so you should try to grab the double item box as much as possible, since it gives you two items at once. You cannot swap your items, you have to use them in the order that you got them. After touching an item box, it takes a while before you actually get your item, but you can press L shortly after getting the box and your item shows up right away. Also, your item is determined the moment you touch the item box, so don't worry about going too fast and potentially getting a worse item just because you're closer to first place. Once you grab the box, your item has been set. The further back you are, the better items you can get. This is partially based on how far you are from first place, and partially based on what placement you are in. So it is possible for 2nd place to get triple mushrooms, 6th place to get a bullet bill, as long as 1st place has a big enough lead. But if your placement is not low enough, you will not consistently get the best items. Here's how every item works, and some tips and strategy for how you generally want to use each item. Even if you think you know how the items work, I recommend watching this section as you'll probably learn some useful details about each item. Some items can be thrown forwards or backwards. The default is forward, but if you hold down on the stick, you will throw it backwards. Some items can be trailed behind you if you hold L. This is very important to defend against red shells as they attack you from behind. The banana peel can be placed on the track, and it stays on the track until something hits it. To use it aggressively, you can either throw it forward with pinpoint accuracy, or you can lay it backwards to trap a commonly taken path. But typically, you'll want to trail your banana peel to defend against red shells. Keep in mind that when throwing forward, the distance depends on how fast you're going. If you're going slowly, you will not throw very far. The green shell can be thrown in a straight line, and it can bounce off of walls, so it's most effective in a confined space. Just make sure you don't hit yourself with it, because that is all too common. At least for me. You can go for 6 snipes, but typically you'll want to use the green shell to protect against red shells. The red shell is so annoying. When you throw it forward, it targets the next racer. Usually you'll defend against red shells by trailing an item, but it can break if you quickly swerve around something as it is about to hit you. You can also throw the red shell backwards, but then it just moves in a straight line and breaks as soon as it hits something. You can also use a red shell to protect against other red shells. The ba bomb or bomb, makes a giant explosion when it is hit or after a few seconds of being out. Sometimes it can walk around before exploding, so pay attention to that when going around the bomb. Throwing the bomb forward can be risky because you could run into it yourself, so you'll usually want to throw it backwards. The best time to do this is on a narrow path, as nobody will be able to dodge it. Sometimes even on a wide path, no one will be able to dodge it. Thanks, Nintendo! Keep in mind that when throwing forward, the distance depends on how fast you're going. If you're going slowly, it will not fly very far and you may bomb yourself. You can trail the bomb to dodge a red shell, but this can be risky. On 150cc, you need to be going at top speed or you will hit yourself with the bomb. So the safer option is to use your rear view camera and drop the bomb at the last second. But on 200cc, you can safely trail the bomb. The super horn, also known as the music box, attacks the space around you, hitting all racers and deleting all items on the track for a few seconds. This does not include items held by other racers, but does include trail items and revolving items. The best use for the super horn is to break a blue shell. There is a very small chance of getting this in first place, so a common strategy is to keep cycling for new items in first until you get the super horn. And then a red shell shows up and you can't use this on the blue shell anyway. The blue shell not only targets first place and delivers a bomb explosion, it drives down the track and hits anyone in its way. And this thing is huge! 
it's this big in your hand and this big on the track. Did you know that? And sometimes it takes a shortcut. Someone at Nintendo really thought this made sense. Your general strategy for avoiding a blue shell if you're not in first is to get out of the middle of the road. If you notice the blue shell on the minimap and you don't have an item to avoid the blue shell in first, you can actually back out of first and let someone else get hit. The blue shell does not lock onto a target until it is very close by, but you have to notice the blue shell early. If you notice too late, you may have just slowed down for no reason. And if someone else has finished the race already, the blue shell will target the next highest placement even if that placement is 11th place. I'm still salty about that. The boomerang is a very powerful attack item. You can use it three times and it goes through items and racers, meaning that you can hit multiple people and even break their trail item. To defend against red shells, you'll want to look backwards and time the throw. Each time you use the boomerang, it leaves your item slot and then returns in the next available slot. If you have two items before the boomerang returns, you will lose the boomerang unless you can get rid of an item before the boomerang returns. And this is extremely rare, but since the shock only deletes items in your your item slot, you can actually get your boomerang back after being hit by the shock. The fire flower can be used 10 times, and it has a time limit that begins when you use your first throw. The time and the remaining throws are both represented by the circle, but as long as you still have time, it will let you throw the fire flower 10 times. The fireballs can also bounce on walls. If this sounds overpowered, it is. The Piranha Plant gives you periodic bursts of speed until the timer runs out. You can also press or hold the item button to keep activating it. During each boost, the Piranha Plant also bites in the space in front of it, which can include an item or another racer. If someone else has a Piranha Plant, just remember to stay behind them as the plant can only bite forward. You definitely don't want to hit them, end up in front of them, and have them bite you. I can't imagine being that stupid. The best item in the game is the Lightning, or as more serious players call it, the Shock. The Shock hits every racer except the user, making them spin out and turn small. When small, you drive much slower and you can get squished by a regular sized racer, making you even slower. Each racer stays small for a different amount of time depending on their placement. First place stays small for the longest. If you get shocked in a glider, you will still go through the spin out animation and turn small, but you will not lose a bunch of speed like you would if you were on the ground. There are two ways to dodge the shock. Either have an invincibility item active, or be in the respawn animation after falling off. But unless you have a teammate communicating this to you, there's no way you can use falling off as a reliable shock dodge method. And if you are in the invincibility phase after getting hit, you will dodge the initial impact of the shock, but you will still turn small. As the person using the shock, there is a lot of strategy that goes into this, but the basic idea is you want to look at the minimap to see who's in a star or a bullet. If someone is in a boo, you cannot see them on the minimap, so don't worry about that. You want to use the shock at a time when fewer people are in a star or bullet so that they don't dodge it. The speed items all rely on your speed stat. I mentioned earlier how the mini turbo stat is a more important stat than speed when trying to go fast, but that's only for when you're not using items. With speed items, the speed that they give always depends on your speed stat and how many coins you have, and this includes the bullet bill. The mushroom gives you a short burst of speed, but the speed boost you get is actually quite weak and can rarely help you make a significant comeback. The best use of a mushroom is to take shortcuts. Off-road sections of the track make you drive slow unless you're using a speed item. Some shortcuts require one mushroom, some need two, and some don't need a mushroom at all. This is where track knowledge is important as using mushrooms can either be next to useless or take you from last place to first place depending on how you use it. You also want to save your mushroom if you have no other item, even if you won't take a shortcut. This is because if you get hit, you can use your mushroom to instantly get back to full speed. The golden mushroom is just a mushroom that you can use for as much as you want for 7.5 seconds after the first use. This can be used to take multiple shortcuts and make a huge comeback. In my opinion, the star is the third best item in the game. Using it will boost your speed, acceleration, and handling. It makes you invincible, and you can hit other players. It's basically a slightly slower golden mushroom, but better in every other way. On top of that, unlike a golden mushroom, using a star makes it disappear from your item slot, allowing you to get more items. When using a star, make sure to listen to the music as it always ends on a particular note. The bullet bill is the second best item in the game. You're invincible, you're a giant hitbox, and you go faster than mushroom speed, and it drives for you. Make sure to also steer the bullet bill left and right as you do have some control. 
you want it to take sharper turns, hit other racers, and pick up coins. If you are in or close to a shortcut when you activate the bullet bill, it will often take the shortcut for you, but this does not work.